<laughs> Who's saying that? Here in the featherweight division, he just defeated Volkanovski, who no one could beat, in just two rounds. Max Holloway, considered the next toughest after Volkanovski, never won even once in their three fights, right? And yet, he knocked out Volkanovski in just two rounds. Honestly, I think none of the featherweights ranked from 1 to 5 here deserved to challenge me. They were lucky that a tournament came up, giving them a chance to fight me. But once this tournament is over, I think it's time to clean out these old guards. Pierre is one of them too. Who has he beaten recently? He couldn't do anything against Volkanovski and lost. Recently, he even lost to Brian Ortega, who was injured just before the fight started. And he claims he deserves a shot? Rather give a title shot to a passing dog than to those guys. When such people get a title shot, it devalues the title. I'm here to protect the value of the title. Of course, I'm interested. I'm not satisfied with just one featherweight belt. I want more belts. After this tournament, I'm considering going for three weight classes, from bantamweight to lightweight. From the flashy bantamweights to the lightweights who have nothing but wrestling. Like Islam, I plan to beat them all in turn. Just watch. That's bullshit. Superior is a fucking idiot. I don't like him. Sure, he defeated Volkanovski. But who did he beat before Volkanovski? Only Josh Emmett. He didn't beat any of the top 1 to 5 ranked featherweights and just got lucky with a title shot. And in fighting, the logic you last to up. I beat A. So I will beat you just doesn't hold up. Anything can happen in MMA. I think he needs to prove a lot more. 